Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. I'm gonna show you how to use the Stream Deck as a remote controller for your Grand MA lighting console to cue uh, various executors and scenes that you have pre-programmed, um, you know, at the push of a button, if you need to override some things or cue some scenes from a remote location, you can do that via the Stream Deck to your Grand MA console. So I'm gonna show you how to configure that. So it's a pretty cool feature here where you can, you know, essentially uh, get a command line on the Stream Deck and anything you can type into the command line, you can put right into the Stream Deck with the push of a button to control your Grand MA lighting console. So we're gonna go ahead and launch the GUI if you haven't already, under Companion, Launch GUI. So we're in the BitFocus Companion um, controller here. If you need to install this software, I have a separate video that kind of explains that, but it's pretty straightforward. So under Connections, we're gonna go ahead and add a connection for that Grand MA. So we'll just type Grand MA. So obviously you're gonna pick which console you have. Uh, I have the Grand MA2. So we'll go ahead and type that in. You're gonna to need to know a couple things. You're gonna to need to know your IP address of the console, and you're gonna to have to have a username and password set up on your console. So we'll go ahead and type all that in and click save. Uh, in my case, I don't have my console on, but you would see a green check here once you put that information in correctly, saying yes, we can communicate with that console. So we're good there. We're gonna go over to buttons. So I have a blank page set up here for my Stream Deck. I'm gonna click on an empty button here, click Create Button, and here I'm gonna say, obviously you can put whatever you want in. This is just gonna be house lights at 100%. So I want this button to cue I have a specific executor on my lighting console for my house lights at 100%, and this is gonna cue that executor. House at 100, you can obviously adjust the font size, the text color, the background color. You could add a picture in for the button. So we're gonna scroll down to add the action. So under actions, press actions, what do you want to happen when you press this button? So I'm gonna click browse, and I want the grand MA Uh, actions, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna run a custom command. So I'm gonna click that and click done. So now when I press the button, I have this action. It's gonna connect to the Grand MA and run this custom command. So in this box, you can type in anything that you would be able to type in the command line on your Grand MA. So in my case, I'm gonna say, go to executor, and you can abbreviate, go to executor, one, dot nine, so that's page one, executor nine, space Q one. So that's gonna activate executor one dot nine Q one when I press that button. And you are gonna be all set, and that's it. So you could do that, you could stack cues as well, so I'll show you a quick uh, explanation of how that works. So this but one button press is gonna run that executor. It could run multiple executors at once. So I'm gonna browse again under press actions, and I'm gonna do the same thing under grand MA, run custom command, done. So now I have a second box. So again, I can type in go to executor 1.10, maybe Q2. So this, when I press that one button now, would execute both of these commands at once. And maybe you want it to execute the first command right away, and then wait two seconds. So we'll delay 2,000 milliseconds, and then it'll run the second command. So I press the button once, it runs this command, then it delays for two seconds, and then it runs this command. So that's a pretty quick example of how to integrate uh, any command line interface from your Grand MA lighting console into the Stream Deck software. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.